Hey guys, my name is Vivek Sharma and today we can cover this interesting problem that's called the serialize and deserialize energy tree. This is the same problem, similar problem that we saw already solved for the binary tree. The only difference it's energy tree, right? So root can have n number of the children. That's the only difference. Otherwise, uh, it's pretty much same. So I will not say conceptually there is no difference. Serialization is the process of converting the character stream to the byte stream and similarly the deserialization is vice versa, right? Whenever we want to convert it byte stream to the character stream, right? So serialization is very important concept while uh, doing a lot of operations like during RPC call, RMI, remote method invocation, remote procedure call and a lot of like in our daily coding we just use the serialization and deserialization. So here we are not going to convert character stream to byte stream but uh, this is just the we want to convert the binary tree to some other string format and in the deserialization we just want to convert back from the string to the uh, again the binary tree right. So let's try to understand here and it, in fact this is not binary tree this is uh, and retry right so let's go ahead and do this one let's this two this is three this is four and this is five because this is entry right so what we can do we can just uh, do one comma two comma three comma four comma five and why we are doing with the comma because while doing the deserialization we can just see the comma and we can split it up and then we can just build the tree so this is the serialization we can just put all this uh, dump this all in the sum string builder and we can just return as a string and uh, while doing the deserialization we can split based on the comma and we can just build our tree right so one will be the root while doing the deserialization and now two three four five so in this thing we can observe then two three four five we don't know whether it's the children of one or if it is children of some other node right so that's the only difference here so uh, this is just the only additional point we need to add it here in comparison of the binary tree serialization and deserialization because binary tree we already know that it's all always having the two children but here there is the number of children with that that we don't know right so what we can do during serialization we can put the length of the children itself because for this root dot children dot size i will know that this list size so this list dot size i can just put during the serialization itself so for example this is one two three four so what i can do after one i can put four here and during deserialization i can get this four so that i know okay now I got four so that I can just put four children uh, for one right that's what I can do and that's the reason I can just put the size of the children otherwise it's pretty much similar if you did not uh, get a chance to watch uh, serialize and deserialize binary tree just uh, I would recommend just go ahead and take a look at this at that one as well because that's conceptually these both problems are pretty much similar so let's uh, try to jump the code and then let's try to quickly try to code the same approach that we discussed here so let's take the string builder this is sp new string builder okay so let's create one helper method here and this helper method will build our string builder right and then we will just uh, return this uh, our string builder right so let's do this private white serial helper okay now let's uh, pass here tree node tree node root comma string builder sp right so let's say if uh, my root is null then it means what it means i will just go ahead and append hard coded null value right so during the deserialization i will know that uh, i have the root as a null right and as a splitter i need to append the comma or you can append anything right this is just a matter of uh, the same symbol that i am using during the deserialization so it should not matter 
uh, the only thing is we need to remember the same uh, comma or colon or whatever semicolon whatever the symbol we are using here we need to use the same symbol during the deserialization process otherwise they there is no other difference conceptually so if root is not equal to null then go ahead and then append root dot val here now uh, we need to append the splitter as well so let's do this append comma okay now what we can do sp dot append root dot children dot size as we discussed uh, during white voting session so that we will know that how much how many children are there associated with this particular root and let's go ahead and uh, just iterate all these children right because these are this is not the binary tree binary tree we can just do the left and right but here this can be the n number of the children right so let's do this children children is the list here if we see here in this data structure right so children is the list so children dot size i plus plus so let's call it recursively serial helper root dot children dot cat i okay and that's it so let's uh, append splitter here as well dot append let's do this comma okay so this is string builder will be filled up now let's take this queue why we are taking the queue because we now put in the string builder so string builder is nothing but it's kind of the list right from the list basically we will just keep taking from the FIFO manner first in first out manner whatever in the whatever we put the first so first is here in this case is one right so the one is uh, basically our root so this is our root and then basically similarly we can just uh, take two three four five so this is just a we can just uh, consider this as a list so list is nothing but it is a queue right queue is also a list right so queue equals to let's say new link list dot add all data dot split is split based on what based on comma right and arrays dot as list so arrays dot as list and then this this thing right now go ahead and uh, return with the help of the serial helper just pass this queue okay okay let's quickly implement this guy so this is no d serial helper let me see if i use tree node somewhere actually this is node this is not tree node so let me correct it here otherwise it's going to bite me later on so this is no D serial helper. This is Q data type is string. This is Q. Okay, sounds good. And let's take this value. It is equal to Q dot pole. So this is my first value, right? And let's check if it is not null, right? So value dot equals. Let's say if it is null then my root is null right so let's go ahead and return null that's it and if it is not null then it means the next is size children size so let's go ahead and pop that out right so size oops should be under else so size equals to q dot pole and this is a string so let's convert this to the integer so integer dot Parse int okay q dot pole i got the size now what i need to do i need to iterate all the children basically i need to build the tree i need to connect uh, first of all i need to create the root so let's go ahead and correct uh, connect, uh, create the root itself new node and then in the node itself 
I need to pass integer pass int so this value okay and then integer i equals to 0 i is less than size and this i plus plus right now what I need to do root dot children okay dot add I need to add all the children so the children is nothing but the array list so let's create the new array list itself to fill it up so new children equals to new array list okay and this will be of this size because I need to fill only these children right so in this array list let's go ahead and just call this method recursively as we were calling in case of binary tree as well right so uh, if you did not see the binary tree serialize and deserialize and just take a look it's a similar way we were just doing the left and right but here we are just doing in the for loop that's the only difference right so let's do this children dot get i so every child i am just passing recursively in the deserial helper right while i am once i finish this process i just want to go ahead and return root that's it let's me see for the compilation error if it is any okay so there is some compilation error let's see what it is serial helper serial helper i need to pass it as be here okay let's see other compilation errors so d serial helper root dot children dot get i okay so that's also wrong let's pass q only sorry this is my mistake so okay so this is only q is the parameter because q the order we are just uh, posting in this string builder the same order we are just taking from the q right so let's see looks good uh, for this input let's try to submit if there is any error we can course correct those as well so it's it's uh, working i think as, as as expected right so this is the similar way that we did as a binary tree this is the binary tree that's the only difference otherwise it's pretty much similar the only difference is we are just calculating the size as well and we are just doing the for loop rather than left and right that's the only difference that's it otherwise it's pretty much similar so let's uh, analyze the complexity here so time complexity will be order of n because we are iterating through every item right and space complexity uh, will be also the order of n for the serialization and deserialization because every time we are maintaining separate uh, string builder in the case of serialization and deserialization we are just maintaining another queue so this will be linear basically complexity for both uh, time and space for serialization and deserialization process okay so hope this makes sense and just let me know your ideas as well and if you find any bugs or anything just feel free to let me know thank you guys have a good one bye